<clears throat> Good evening. I'm just having another late night snack. Well, sort of like meal, but not too heavy. So, I like to mix things up and argue something. But I just want to rant. I just really, really, really want to rant. I want to talk about stuff. I want to, well, stuff that's in my head mostly, because I really know that I'm having my own personal issues. It's not that it's a bad, bad personal issue. It's just I've been having a problem with about the last month, month and a half, I've been having this severe case of depression. Um, and it's not that I am... Ah, there I go. <sighs> and it's not that I'm, you know, severely or constantly depressed. It's just that I have not been having a regular batch of emotions that, you know, normal people have. Because I usually don't think the same way. But that's, you know, me. That's me. Not being normal. Well, what I'm trying to get at is that um, out of all the things that I do, I do, I try to keep myself happy. I get cheerful and everything. But the moment that I stop doing anything, whether I'm just sitting there or if I have time to myself, I actually, I've been making myself depressed. That is the worst depression I've had since ever. Um, I've never been this depressed before. And it was just messing with my head so, 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 so bad. Um, and the thing was, the biggest problem with messing with my head was that I was making myself depressed, but in the snowball form, it just kept on going and going and getting bigger and bigger, and I didn't even notice the change. It was so gradual. It was horrible. I hated it. But then a nice emotional kick in the pants helped me out. I thank my roommate for that one. Uh, because the thing is, I started ignoring all sorts of things that I was supposed to be doing in my room. Now, everything else, everywhere else, people would see me, they see me happy and smiling and doing stuff, and it was great, but when I went to my room, I kind of let it turn to shit for a while, and there was like a mess of stuff. Oh, crap, I just said that. I try to keep my videos PG-13. Um, so the thing was, I command you to melt. Alright, so the thing was that I was really just sulking all the time and it was really bumming me out but I was trying to do as much as possible to actually cheer myself up without realizing that even though I was cheering myself up I wasn't looking at the base problem it was all about what I was doing to begin with not that I was trying to resolve my depression but I didn't find I didn't see what the actual problem was the actual problem was that um, I once again I've lost the power of anticipation where you know where you anticipate stuff where something's coming and you know it's coming and you know you you have that you know the, whether it be weekly or daily or, or monthly you know that oh you know we're gonna go on this trip or something you know you have that anticipation I haven't had that for a while and the thing is that I did have it for a bit but it was very short-lived and I know there's a lot of time between me and when things are gonna happen so I didn't really think about it I didn't have anticipation I didn't have any any creativity. I haven't crafted or done anything art related in probably a month, maybe more. Okay, no art of any kind, no drawing, no painting, no nothing. And it was actually affecting me. And that was not a good thing. So after realizing all this, I mean this morning I had a very thoughtful note of, from my roommate telling me, it's like, you know what, that's not right how my room turned to shit. And I'm like, oh my god, what am I doing? And I realized, yes, let me let me do something about it. Let me change that. Let me fix it. Let me, you know, modify what I'm doing. Let me... There's so much let me. Now, the thing was that as I was doing this, I didn't realize... I didn't realize all the different things that was bothering me. And every single time I would go out and do stuff with friends and so on, it was fun and all, but then whenever I left, I still felt hollow. Um, like part of me was really, really, really vacant and missing. And the part of me that was missing was me trying to be creative for myself. And the biggest part of my creativity comes from I love, I love any kind of criticism. Good, bad, whatever. I want criticism. The criticism that ha that is given to me helps drive me so that I can do a lot more. So that I can go off and create more things. So that I can uh, know what is good, know what is bad. All these things are always wonderful. All right. There's no such thing as bad publicity. Well, for me, there's really no such thing as bad criticism. Any criticism, positive or negative, I go. 
positive and negative, it will actually give me a better drive to doing better things. You know, I will every now and then get something say, oh, you suck, you should never do this again. It's like, you know what? Thank you for that criticism. I'll see what sucks on it, what exactly does it suck on, and I'll see if I can work on that. And the thing is, that gives me a, a better idea. A lot of times people are just jerks about it, but you know what? I don't care. The point is that I will question all criticism. Would it be good? Would it be bad? Oh, you're just saying that because you're my friend? Or what is truly right or what's wrong? I enjoy criticism. It helps me. It, it drives me. It creates this wondrous, you know, collision of, you know, where they say you have, you know, train, you lose your train of thought. Imagine my brain, a bunch of trains, in, like swirling around, like one, like electrons around an atom, and they're constantly crashing into each other. Without that, I cannot have my flood of ideas and thoughts. I've had today one of my best days in a long time of how creative I felt of uh, things that I've done, I've organized things, I have I've done so much for myself that I'm much happier right now. But one of the things about it too is that I need the criticism. I need the criticism. It's what drives me. It's like the fuel that that you know, okay, what's worse? An artist that makes a piece of art that um, is beautiful and everything or is a piece of crap or whatever and people are told them and they tell them and you know, but whether it's the, you know, opposite criticism that they want or an artist that does something and no one says anything. It's worse to not hear anything, to not tell people about stuff, to actually put in your time and effort to do such. Oh, shoot, smell, fire. Oh, no. I'm talking too much. I think I just set my crackers on fire. Ah, yep, I did. Crud. Yep, they're on fire. All right, let's try this again. This time, don't distract me. Okay, I distract myself, but still. Uh, shoot. Okay, um... Once more with feeling. So I like the criticism, how people will tell me what they feel about stuff. That makes it more interesting. Uh, I really don't make things to be perfect. I make things to burnt and melted and yeah. I, I don't make things for, you know, the perfect, you know, explanation, description and so on. I try to make things so I can get people to talk about it, react about it wonderful feelings about it, you know, all that kind of stuff. And that's what I really want. It's, I don't want to be famous, I just want people to talk about, or complain. Complaining is always good. Even though they'll be right or wrong or whatever, I just don't want to be ignored. Ignoring is, is so horrible. For anybody who makes anything, ignoring, oh my gosh. Wow. It's just so bad. I would rather take um, a few days of being ignored so I can sit back and do stuff and everything and the rest of the week where I have to work and be the center of attention which that's what I usually do for work oh man this is a mess this... yeah. and my main job involves doing that and one of the catches about that is just that I have I basically repeat myself over and over again that's my job talking to people but then, whenever I'm at home, I'm basically by myself because I just go to work, go home, work at home. I don't do anything else. I don't have any people to actually hang out with. So, it sucks. It really does. But, because of that, it kind of snowballed its way into how I don't have any anticipation for anything. All the things that I was writing and YouTube videos or whatever, and I got a few replies, nothing interesting, nothing... And, and it wasn't really helping me feel better. It was... It was really crappy feeling. I felt so crappy because of that. Yeah, I'm gonna need some more water. And because I felt so bad, well, it's not that I felt so bad, it's just that it didn't help me. It didn't help me, you know, with my creativity. I just wanted to express myself a little bit more, but I just couldn't figure out how to express myself as I don't have anyone to tell me if I'm right, wrong, nice, bad, or whatever. You know what? Because it's going on for so long, I'm going to make a part two to this. And I'll actually fix it so I don't burn my food again. Alright, see you in a bit.